Welcome to the captivating world of radio, a medium that has revolutionized communication, entertainment, and culture over the past century. From its humble beginnings as a scientific curiosity to its ubiquitous presence in our daily lives, the history of radio is a tale of innovation, ingenuity, and human connection. In this exploration of the history of radio, we embark on a journey through time, tracing the evolution of this remarkable technology from its earliest experiments to its modern-day manifestations. From the pioneering work of inventors and scientists to the golden age of broadcasting and the digital revolution, the story of radio is a testament to the power of human creativity and imagination. Join us as we unravel the waves of history and delve into the fascinating world of radio, where voices from the past echo through the airwaves and shape the course of our collective memory. From Marconi's first wireless transmission to the rise of satellite radio and internet streaming, each chapter in the history of radio offers new insights into the ways in which technology has transformed the way we communicate, entertain, and connect with one another. As we embark on this journey through the history of radio, let us pause to marvel at the wonders of this extraordinary medium and reflect on its enduring legacy in an ever-changing world. Welcome to the history of radio, a story of innovation, inspiration, and the enduring power of the human voice. Early Experiments The early experiments in the development of radio communication laid the foundation for one of the most transformative inventions in human history. In the late 19th century, scientists and inventors were exploring the properties of electromagnetic waves and their potential applications for wireless communication. One of the key figures in these early experiments was Heinrich Hertz, a German physicist who demonstrated the existence of electromagnetic waves in the 1880s. Hertz's experiments showed that these waves could be transmitted through space and detected at a distance laying the groundwork for the concept of wireless communication. Building on Hertz's work, Guglielmo Marconi, an Italian inventor, conducted pioneering experiments in wireless telegraphy. In 1895, Marconi successfully transmitted a radio signal over a short distance, using a simple system of antennas and receivers. This achievement marked the birth of practical radio communication and paved the way for further advancements in the field. Marconi's experiments culminated in his historic transatlantic radio transmission in 1901, when he successfully sent a radio signal from Cornwall, England, to Newfoundland, Canada, a distance of over 2,000 miles. This groundbreaking achievement demonstrated the feasibility of long-distance radio communication and sparked a wave of interest and investment in the emerging technology. Meanwhile, other inventors and scientists around the world were conducting their own experiments in wireless communication. Nikola Tesla, a Serbian-American inventor, made significant contributions to the development of radio technology, although his work was overshadowed by Marconi's later successes. Marconi's Wireless Telegraph Guglielmo Marconi's pioneering work in wireless telegraphy marked a significant milestone in the evolution of radio communication. Inspired by the experiments of scientists like Heinrich Hertz, Marconi embarked on a quest to develop practical wireless communication systems that could transmit messages over long distances without the need for physical wires. In 1895, Marconi achieved a breakthrough when he successfully transmitted a radio signal over a short distance, demonstrating the feasibility of wireless communication. Building on this success, he continued to refine his technology, experimenting with different antenna configurations, receiver designs, and transmission methods. Marconi's most notable achievement came in 1901, when he conducted the first successful transatlantic radio transmission. Using a powerful transmitter and a network of antennas, Marconi sent a radio signal from Poldhu, Cornwall, in England, to Signal Hill, Newfoundland, in Canada, a distance of over 2,000 miles. This historic feat proved that radio waves could travel across vast distances, opening up new possibilities for long-distance communication. The success of Marconi's transatlantic transmission catapulted him to international fame and established him as a leading figure in the field of wireless telegraphy. He went on to found the Marconi Company, 
which played a central role in the development of radio technology and the establishment of commercial radio broadcasting. Marconi's wireless telegraphy system revolutionized communication by providing a means of instant communication over long distances, transforming the way people communicated with one another. His pioneering work laid the foundation for the development of modern radio technology and paved the way for the emergence of the broadcasting industry, which would soon bring news, entertainment, and information to millions of listeners around the world. Early Radio Broadcasting Early radio broadcasting emerged as a natural progression from the pioneering work of inventors like Guglielmo Marconi in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. As wireless telegraphy advanced, inventors and enthusiasts began to explore the possibilities of using radio waves to transmit audio signals, paving the way for the birth of radio broadcasting. One of the earliest known instances of radio broadcasting occurred in 1906 when Reginald Fessenden, a Canadian inventor, made the first known voice broadcast. Fessenden's historic broadcast, made on Christmas Eve, featured him playing the violin and reading passages from the Bible, reaching ships and wireless operators along the Atlantic seaboard. The development of vacuum tube technology in the early 20th century played a crucial role in the advancement of radio broadcasting. Vacuum tubes allowed for the amplification and modulation of audio signals, making it possible to broadcast music, news, and entertainment to a wider audience. In the United States, the first commercial radio station, KDKA in Pittsburgh, began regular broadcasting in 1920. Initially used to relay election results and weather reports, KDKA quickly expanded its programming to include music, sports, and talk shows, attracting a growing number of listeners. The 1920s and 1930s saw a rapid expansion of radio broadcasting around the world, with hundreds of stations popping up in major cities and rural areas. Radio became a dominant form of mass media, reaching millions of households and shaping public opinion on a wide range of issues. Early radio broadcasting was characterized by a diverse range of programming, including live music performances, comedy shows, dramas, and educational programs. Radio stations experimented with different formats and genres to attract listeners and advertisers, laying the groundwork for the development of the modern radio industry. Golden Age of Radio The Golden Age of Radio, spanning roughly from the 1920s to the 1950s, was a transformative period in the history of broadcasting characterized by unprecedented growth, innovation, and cultural impact. During this era, radio emerged as the dominant form of mass media, captivating audiences with a diverse array of programming and revolutionizing the way people consumed news, entertainment, and information. One of the defining features of the golden age of radio was the proliferation of radio programming, with hundreds of stations broadcasting around the clock, offering a wide variety of shows to suit every taste and interest. From live music performances and comedy shows to thrilling dramas and educational programs, radio provided a rich and immersive audio experience that captured the imaginations of listeners across the globe. The golden age of radio also witnessed the rise of iconic radio personalities and programming formats that became household names. Legendary figures such as Orson Welles, Jack Benny, and the Lone Ranger became synonymous with the medium, attracting loyal audiences and shaping the cultural zeitgeist of the time. Moreover, radio played a crucial role in shaping public opinion and disseminating information during key historical events, including the Great Depression, World War II, and the Cold War. Radio broadcasts provided a lifeline for millions of listeners, delivering news updates, morale-boosting entertainment, and messages of hope and solidarity during times of crisis. Technological advancements during the golden age of radio further fueled its popularity and reach. The development of vacuum tube technology, improved broadcasting equipment, and more powerful transmitters enabled radio stations to deliver clearer signals and higher quality audio to listeners, expanding the medium's audience and influence. However, the golden age of radio began to wane in the 1950s with the advent of television, which emerged as a new rival for audiences' attention. 
As television grew in popularity, radio programming shifted to adapt to changing audience preferences, leading to the decline of traditional radio dramas and variety shows. Despite its eventual decline, the golden age of radio left an indelible mark on popular culture and continues to be celebrated for its innovation, creativity, and enduring legacy. The era remains a cherished chapter in the history of broadcasting, reminding us of the power of the spoken word and the enduring appeal of radio as a medium of communication and entertainment. Post-War Developments Post-war developments in radio broadcasting marked a period of transition and innovation as the world emerged from the devastation of World War II. The aftermath of the war brought about significant changes in technology, society, and culture, which profoundly impacted the evolution of radio. One notable post-war development was the widespread adoption of FM, frequency modulation, broadcasting, FM radio offered superior sound quality and fidelity compared to AM, amplitude modulation, radio, making it particularly well-suited for music and stereo programming. FM radio stations began to proliferate in the post-war years, offering listeners a wider range of programming options and contributing to the diversification of the radio landscape. The post-war era also witnessed the rise of transistor radios, which revolutionized the way people listened to radio on the go. Transistor radios were smaller, lighter, and more portable than their vacuum tube counterparts, allowing listeners to enjoy radio programming virtually anywhere. The widespread availability of transistor radios democratized access to radio content, enabling people to tune in to their favorite stations while commuting, traveling, or engaging in outdoor activities. Furthermore, the post-war period saw the emergence of new formats and genres in radio programming. The rise of rock and roll music in the 1950s, for example, led to the creation of dedicated rock radio stations that catered to the tastes of younger listeners. Similarly, the advent of talk radio in the 1960s and 1970s provided a platform for discussion, debate, and commentary on a wide range of topics, from politics and current events to sports and entertainment. Additionally, the post-war era saw the continued expansion of radio broadcasting into new markets and regions around the world. Technological advancements such as satellite radio and internet streaming further extended the reach of radio, enabling listeners to access radio programming from virtually anywhere with an internet connection or satellite signal. Modern Era in the modern era, radio has undergone significant transformations, adapting to technological advancements, changing consumer habits, and evolving media landscapes. The advent of digital technology has revolutionized the way radio is produced, distributed, and consumed, ushering in a new era of innovation and diversity in the medium. One of the most notable developments in the modern era of radio is the rise of digital broadcasting formats such as DAB, digital audio broadcasting, HD radio, and internet radio. These digital platforms offer listeners enhanced sound quality, greater programming variety, and additional features such as on-demand content, podcasts, and interactive services. Internet radio, in particular, has emerged as a powerful force in the modern radio landscape, providing listeners with access to thousands of online stations and channels from around the world. Internet radio platforms offer a diverse array of programming options, catering to niche audiences and niche interests that may not be served by traditional broadcast radio. Moreover, the proliferation of smartphones, tablets, and other connected devices has made it easier than ever for listeners to access radio content on the go. Mobile apps and streaming services allow users to listen to their favorite radio stations and programs anytime, anywhere providing unparalleled convenience and flexibility. In addition to digital broadcasting, the modern era of radio has seen the continued evolution of content formats and programming genres. While traditional radio formats such as music, news, and talk shows remain popular, new formats such as podcasts, audiobooks, and audio dramas have gained prominence, offering listeners a wider range of options for audio entertainment and information. 
Furthermore, the rise of social media and online communities has transformed the way radio stations engage with their audiences, allowing for greater interactivity, audience participation, and community building. Radio stations and personalities use social media platforms to connect with listeners, promote programming, and gather feedback, creating a more dynamic and interactive listening experience. In conclusion, the history of the radio is a testament to the remarkable journey of human ingenuity, innovation, and imagination. From its humble beginnings as a series of scientific experiments to its status as a ubiquitous and influential medium of communication and entertainment, radio has shaped the course of history and touched the lives of billions of people around the world. Throughout its evolution, radio has continually adapted to technological advancements, societal changes, and shifting consumer preferences, demonstrating its resilience and enduring relevance in an ever-changing media landscape. From the pioneering work of inventors like Guglielmo Marconi to the golden age of broadcasting and the digital revolution of the modern era, each chapter in the history of radio reflects the spirit of exploration, discovery, and creativity that defines human progress. Today, radio continues to thrive as a vital source of news, information, music, and culture, connecting people across borders, languages, and cultures. While new technologies and platforms may emerge, radio remains a trusted companion and a powerful medium for fostering connection, community, and understanding in an increasingly fragmented world. As we reflect on the rich tapestry of the radio's history, let us celebrate the countless voices, stories, and moments that have been broadcast over the airwaves, enriching our lives and shaping our shared experiences. From the crackling transmissions of early wireless telegraphy to the crystal clear sound of digital broadcasting, the history of radio is a story of human achievement and a testament to the enduring power of communication to unite, inspire, and uplift us all.